Welcome to homecampus.com.sg. Let's solve this word problem on volume. It says that a rectangular fresh juice dispenser measuring 18 centimeters by 30 centimeters by 24 centimeters is filled with juice to the brim. Now, to the brim means to the top. Okay, it's fully completely filled with fresh juice. Okay, now Bill fills cups with juice from the dispenser. If he fills 150 milliliters of juice into each cup, how many cups does he use? Round off your answer to the nearest whole number. Okay, so here is what we have. We have a rectangular fresh juice dispenser that has got its length as 18 centimeters, breadth as 30 centimeters, and height as 24 centimeters. Okay, now these are interchangeable, okay? You can maybe, you can say that 18 is the height and 30 is the length, but it doesn't really matter. The volume still remains the same. Okay, you'll see that here. Okay, so we start solving the problem. Let's uh, make this rectangular fresh juice dispenser. So we make this cuboid. This is 18 centimeters. We take that as the length. Then the breadth is 30 centimeters, so it's longer, okay, and the height is 24 centimeters, so maybe somewhere around here, okay. Let me move this a little down so we have room. Okay, now I simply copy this, put it here as well as here. I'm quickly making a cuboid. Join this. Join this. Copy this. Okay, so here is my rectangular or cuboidal fresh juice dispenser. Okay, now let me put some color into this. Okay. Maybe it's got orange juice. All right. So now maybe it's also got a tap here. You know, since it's a dispenser, it has to have a tap. So we draw the tap also. Maybe this is the tap. Okay. All right. So this is our dispenser and it has got a length of 18 centimeters, breadth of 30 centimeters, and height of 24 centimeters. Okay. Okay, now what Bill does is he fills cups with juice from the dispenser and he fills 150 milliliters of juice into each cup. And what we have to find out is if he fills 150 ml of juice into each cup, then how many cups will he use? Now let's say that this is the cup that Bill uses for the juice and he uses a few of them. So let's copy and paste a few. Okay. Now we don't know how many, so we just put dot, dot, dot. Now into each cup, he pours 150 milliliters of juice okay so what he does is he takes the juice from here maybe through the tap and he pours into these cups over here so here's what's happened all the juice from this dispenser is now into these cups over here okay so first we have to find out how much juice is there in this dispenser now this dispenser is filled to the brim which means to the top okay to its maximum capacity. So we have to find out the capacity of this dispenser or the volume of juice inside this dispenser. So we find out the volume of juice inside this dispenser and that volume will be equal to the volume of juice inside these cups together, inside all these cups, okay, together, which means this plus this plus this plus this will be how much? Will be the same as this volume, okay? So it's pretty straightforward. We have to find out the volume of juice inside this dispenser. What's the volume? Well, the volume of this rectangular dispenser or this cuboid shaped dispenser is simply the product of its dimensions, which is 18 centimeters, the length, times 
30 centimeter, which is the width, times 24 centimeters, which is the height. Now, 18 times 30 times 24, how much is that? Well, 18 times 3 is 54, so 18 times 30 is 540, and then 540 times 24. Okay, let's do the working here. 540 times 24. 24 times 0 is 0. 24 times 4 is 96. 6 and 9 carried over. 24 times 5 is 120 plus 9 is 129. Okay, if you need to stop and do the calculation, then you please do that. Just pause the video or you can use a calculator if you like. So this is 12,960 centimeter cube or cubic centimeters. So the volume of fresh juice inside this dispenser is equal to 12,960 centimeter cube. But the volume of fresh juice inside these cups is 150 ml. So you see the units are different. This is milliliters while this is centimeter cube. So first we have to convert this unit to ml, okay? Because that's the unit we'll be using for the cups. So 12,960 centimeter cubes is nothing but 12,960 ml because one centimeter cube is equal to one milliliter. We know that, okay? So one centimeter cube is one ml. So 12,960 centimeter cube is 12,960 ml. So simply all these cups together have 12,960 ml of juice in them. Now what we have to find out is how many cups will Bill use to fill up every single drop of juice into the cups. Okay, so here is what it will look like if you were to put this on the model. Then let's make a model, okay? Let's suppose that this is the model for the volume of juice inside this dispenser. Okay, now this is the volume which is equal to 12,960 ml, okay? Same as that. And this is distributed over a few cups, okay? And each cup has got 150 ml of juice. So each of these is 150 ml. Now, all we have to do now is find out how many of these smaller blocks are there. Quite simple. All we need to do is divide 12,960 milliliters by 150 milliliters. As simple as that. So we cross out the zero and zero. 15 times 8 is 120. So we do that. Then remainder of 9 and 6. 15 times 6 is 90. With the remainder of 6. And then we put the decimal. Then 15 times 4. 4 is equal to 60, so we stop here. So he will need a total of 86.4 cups, but 0.4 cups, that doesn't make sense, so we round it off to the nearest whole number. So 86.4 cups is roughly equal to 86 cups. So what Bill will need is he will need 86 cups to dispense every drop of fresh juice from inside the dispenser into the cups. Well, that's it. That's all about this word problem. I hope you understood it and I hope that now you'll go and solve some other word problems on volumes and other topics as usual at www.homecampus.com.sg. Don't forget to practice because practice makes perfect. This is M signing off for now. Bye.